I've always loved to write and read, and uh, I love books, but there's not anything that's being written now for kids that deals with the way I was raised. It deals with agriculture, that deals with outdoors, and so I started writing the Wilder Good books, really for my kids, which isn't a rare thing. Most people that write children's literature from anybody, they write it because they want their kids to have good stuff and they want to pass on those values and those experiences. I think every kid wants to do that stuff. I think every kid wants to have outdoor adventure. I think every kid wants to wants to interact with animals. Uh, I just think we've gotten used to doing that through pure fantasy, that there isn't real authentic adventure offered anymore. Uh, and that's what I hope the Wilder Good Books will do. Out here it's safe. Uh, dirt and trees and rocks. And the thing is, these things are as complex and as interesting as anything you could find uh, in a city or made up, but they have a patience to them that you have to spend time with them before they they open up. It's, it's not immediate. Wilder isn't preachy. It's not. It's not a. It's not proselytizing for an audience, but it is saying to modern kids that there's here's an option. Here's a new option out here for adventure. You don't have to be a wizard. You don't have to be uh, a vampire. You don't have to be wimpy. Uh, you can live an outdoor adventurous life and it's all waiting there for you. It's just nobody's told you about it in a long time. There's only so many general principles of life, I think. There's honesty and hard work and commitment. All those things are transferable anywhere. You can learn those in the city. You can learn those with sports. But all those are just as available. Out here, while they're good, that, that story isn't about Shooting an animal, that's a piece of it, but the, the heart of that is about relationships, the relationship he forms with this, uh, this mentor character, Gail Loving, and learning how to apprentice under somebody and learn under somebody. And then also, Wilder gets injured during the book, and so it, it, there's a lesson about sticking to it and not quitting and putting one foot in front of the other, and those are lessons that are clearly available and useful for anyone uh, in any walk of life, and uh, I, I hope it'll be seen that way. I think Wilder is every 12-year-old boy that ever lived. I think 12 years old is the time before you start really understanding from the edge is the adult world and you have the pressures of what am I going to be someday and you have the pressures of, of uh, the opposite sex and, and you can just be the kid that's going to be the astronaut, the baseball player the cowboy, the samurai, the Jedi. You really think you can do those things, and so I think Wilder is at that age where he's every boy, and he thinks he still has the ability to imagine and dream on those things. I used to take kids up on a, on a wilderness trip in Massachusetts, and these are kids that were born and raised in New York City, Bronx, Brooklyn, and they never did anything outdoors in their whole life. And so that first day, we took away all the iPods, all the headphones, all the iPads, everything, and just turned them loose in deep dark woods and a lake and canoes and camp outs and flashlights and bone arrows and the moaning and the cussing and the complaining and the hatred toward all of us that were doing that but you get them through it you lead them and by the end of the week you had kids running around with their shirts off canoeing catching chipmunks doing art having conversations staying up late at night seeing the stars for the first time you had this all this urbanization all this technology just fell off them and they, and they bloomed. Now, there's still problems there. It doesn't, it doesn't fix everything because you have a great wilderness experience, but what it does is it says, this also exists. It gives them a story to come back to. It holds that up, and nobody is holding that up anymore. What I think art is, is to take a place and make it portable. Uh, and that's what great art does. That's what true art does is to take every picture you see, every movie you see, every novel you see, it's taking a place. And it's saying, I want you to experience this place, but I want you to do it in your home, I want you to do it on an airplane, I want you to do it on a train, I want you to do it on a beach somewhere. And so what I think art does is it takes this place and it, it puts it in this packaged way that's a nice little book or it's a film, and it says, I want you to experience the great things that happen in this place, and I want you to do it in your own time, in your own place. And so. The truer we can do that, the truer we can represent that piece of grass, this cottonwood leaf, uh, the breeze, this dirt, the smell, that's what great art is.